Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here with our daily astrological reading. Today is Friday, August 4th, and once again, I can only see one thing, and once again, it's the moon changing signs. So clearly there's been a moon focus. Uh, today the moon moves into Aries from Pisces, and that signals a big change. So I've been talking, again, a lot about details. I know I'm repeating things this week, but it's for a purpose, I promise. Um, I've been talking a lot about details, um, a lot about focus, but also a lot about flow. One of the main reasons is because from the full moon, where for me it was really about trusting and embracing our own unique sensibilities um, from a place of self-trust. From that full moon, we have been really flowing from emotional perspective to intellectual perspective, back and forth, and in now, today, into passion. So the moon is really taking us on this kind of emotional journey um, to where we can really it's really calling for us to be able to engage with all of the facets of ourselves. That's what all lunar cycles usually do, uh, at least for me. They really help me month to month engage in not only the cycles of my life, but the cycles of my emotional internal flow and how that projects outwards. This full moon that we just had in Aquarius is no exception. And because Mercury entered its shadow yesterday. We've had a detail-oriented, focused vibe going. I'm encouraging that. But with the moon moving into Aries today, and again, another hint towards flow and its purpose, I want us to move from that idea of just this kind of narrow focus on detail into incorporating that into passion, drive, Aries archetypes but especially in, in regard, with regard to how that affects your emotional core. The best way for me to incorporate details and passion is to start engaging in some kind of passion project. Even if that's just based in providing pleasure for myself, um, I want us to begin to start thinking about a passion project. Even if it's it can be something big and grand, like you want to finish a painting um, or a book, or you want to engage in a new romantic relationship. Maybe you are being drawn into a new friend group or something about your friend group or even your familial group is um, calling for like an injection of passion. I think because we've been so trusting of ourselves this week, because we've been so detail-oriented as well, I think we can hold on to that and again, flow into transitioning all of that information we're gathering and, that, and also the information that we've locked into into a place of passionate engagement. I think that's going to be key. Also guys, don't forget about how you felt on the new, on the, don't forget about how you felt on the full moon. When I was telling you to kind of bask in the glow of that, to see yourselves in the light of that moon, don't lose sight of that either. I think that is really going to help us find out where our drive and passion is being called for the most. And I think that that'll help us in the long run to continue to be able to go with the flow while still trusting ourselves. So let's start thinking about injecting passion starting today. I'll see you tomorrow.